Hello everyone, um, welcome to my show, Spiritual Essence. Um, this is going to be a spiritual show where I teach you all things spiritual, magical, and um, paranormal. Uh, it's something I've been practicing and researching for at least six years, and um, I'm still researching now. So, I am here to teach you guys who are interested in furthering your spiritual path and improving your spiritual self on this show with all kinds of information uh, that one may uh, require. Uh, so, that being said, we're going to talk about the first thing that I learned when I first started working with magic and energy, which we are working with energy. Um, now, um, we're going to be talking about, uh, what is energy and how it affects our spiritual and magical practices. So first we must discuss, of course, what is energy? Well, as we know, energy is the force that is within all things, both, uh, animate and inanimate. Uh, it is what makes up everything in the entire universe. And energy is neither created nor destroyed. Um, it is merely transferred from one vessel to another. Energy is within ourselves. It's uh, what makes up our souls. It's what makes up us. And we must use this soul energy and the energy of our environment to manipulate into um, manifestations of what we desire. Um, energy is uh, neither good nor evil on its own. It has to come to a, a vessel that makes it that way. So if energy is within a person, of course, they must manipulate it into um, whatever uh, they are feeling and desiring. So, um, it really depends on the person practicing and using, um, magic, whether it's evil or good or a little bit of both. Now, um, magic and energy are basically one and the same. Magic is basically the energy, um, from, uh, both our environment and, ourselves. There are many different types of uh, ways to use magic. Um, some people have even uh, said, you know, there's uh, kitchen magic, there's um, earth magic, water magic, fire magic, air magic, there is um, poppet magic, there's fairy magic, there's all sorts of things, crystal magic, there's all kinds. But basically they are um, they are the same thing used in a variety of different ways. Um, the energy of uh, others can have an effect on your energy. It can affect um, the energy of not only yourself, but also inanimate objects like, um, say, this bag. This bag has an energy all its own. But if I were to, say, do some magical workings on it, the energy would be slowly changed into something different, transferred into something different. Um, so I could make this have a, a good aura. I could make this have a bad aura. This is um, how energy and magic works. Um... It takes outside forces on every object, both living and non-living, uh, to change the energy of that particular person or thing uh, slowly, though. Usually it, um, it takes on a, a slow and steady form. So, yeah, even uh, the energy of non-living things can be affected by things uh, in their environment. Um, it, it's not that complicated to, uh, find the definition of energy and what energy is and how it affects us and our magical and spiritual workings. 
Um, but you, in order to successfully start your spiritual path in, in delving in magic, you have to understand at least the basics of energy. And um, now that you know what energy is and how it affects our um, magical practices, I will continue to delve into how to work with energy how to manipulate energy and how to know whether or not um, to continue uh, based on the feeling of energy. That's basically how I started learning magic. Um, energy can be very beneficial. Magic can be very beneficial for your life. Um, a lot of people uh, have asked me, uh, well, what's it like? It is basically like a rejuvenating and empowering feeling. Uh, it is a power that comes with great responsibility. You can't let it just go to your head. And uh, you can't get drunk with power off that. Because um, it's not going to turn out great for um, you or the people around you. Um, energy uh, and magic working with it can be so fun and exciting. And it could also be very rewarding uh, if you use it right. However, if uh, your intentions are not good and um, you are not focused and, say, just messing around with things, it can actually be pretty dangerous, deadly, and destructive. So um, it's basically a 50-50 thing with uh, working with magic and energy and you should probably get your um, your priorities in order before working with this because um, if you mess up your life because you are not serious about this or you have bad intentions um, it could take a while for you to bounce back from that and um, of course then you're gonna have to look for outside help to try and fix whatever you've done to a, one, a person's life or yourself so just make sure you know what you're getting into before you start your spiritual journey um, into magic and uh, working with energy that being said, um, now that you know the definition of energy and um, what it is and how it works and magic and all that, um, you have just now started your journey onto your spiritual path for all the beginners out there. For those of you who have possibly seen my other uh, spiritual site back when it was on my other channel, um, I'm basically redoing this video to try and um, give you a firmer definition and um, to make sure I don't leave anything out. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to hit the little bell button because it'll let you know when I upload a brand new video. Um, so I can help you continue to stay on your spiritual path. Also, feel free to check out my Instagram at spirite672, and um, you can ask me any questions, or um, you could also uh, ask about if I can do uh, certain videos for you, in case you're not sure on something. Um, Alright, guys, um, that's it. Have a good day, guys. May your spiritual path be one of love and light.